Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. I am so excited for this episode because, as you know, we just finished our outdoor rooftop bar and kitchen here on Lake Murray. And of course, if you're going to have an outdoor bar, you have to have some brand new Bluetooth speakers to add to it. Yes, indeed. So these are from Studio Phoenix, the 16.5 inch speakers, 400 watt and we are really excited to add this to the rooftop bar. Yeah, so these are completely Bluetooth, so you don't have to have an amp or anything like that. So let's go ahead and see how easy it is to yeah. install them. So also, if you go to Studio Phoenix, you can get um, our affiliate link, Samber Style, and you'll get 10% off. Zozo approves, and we haven't yeah. even unboxed it yet. <laughs> so let's open it up and see what they look like. All right, let's do it. You have your box cutter? Yeah. Cool. I'm so excited. I'm on my tippy toes. <laughs> So these have, it comes with two speakers, which is yeah. great. You can either have them vertical or horizontal. There's the power source box. Nice. And a full uh, 12 volt DC connector. Your power cord. And then the speaker wires that connect in between the speakers. So you also have your constructions. <laughs> Construction? Yeah. You mean instruction? Yeah, this is how to build it. <laughs> so yeah, super easy. It comes with five things total and the instructions or constructions, like yeah. Sam would say. And what I love about these speakers too, now that we're opening them you up. You also get them in, in white. So we opted for black ones, but you also do get them in white. And what I love about these speakers is the mount is actually already on the speaker. Yeah. The only thing that doesn't come with it is the installation hardware. But you only need a couple of screws that you can screw it to your uh, post or your beams, whatever you want to um, connect them to. I've also seen people actually um, hook them up straight to the siding of your house. Yeah. So really anything you want to uh, hook it up to. Now we have the instructions. Let's go ahead and uh, start hooking it up. Yeah, let's do it. All right. Okay, so first step is to figure out where we're going to mount these speakers. Um, so we debated kind of to have it on each side of the boat house. As you can see, it's quite a big open space. And we're going to try to get it as close to the middle as possible. So obviously what's going to be a determining factor is this, the length of this cord. Yes, I can put an extension cord on it, but ideally I wouldn't want to. So I've got an outlet on the top there where the TV is currently. So I think I'm going to plug it in and see how far towards the middle I can come. And then just have my speakers facing different directions and then we have music and sound going towards each side of the boathouse. So I'm gonna plug it in and see where we can get. So this is the power source for the speakers and it reached all the way till here. So I can mount the speaker on this side facing this way and then on the same beam on the other side, I can have the speaker facing towards the kitchen area. Okay, so to get the speaker mounted, you have to take this bracket off to enable to get screws into it. So it's super easy, you just turn on the sides. There's like a knob, you just turn out with a little screw on it. So that'll come undone on both sides. And then your bracket will be ready to install. So I'm gonna go ahead, put two screws on there and then it should be ready to go. So for the mounting, uh, they don't supply any mounting hardware. So I'm using external wood screws because it is outside here in the outdoor kitchen and you can just put two screws here. So depending on where you mount it on a metal post, you can zip tie it or put it against vinyl siding, whatever the case may be, whatever the screws you will need for that application. And I'm just putting it level with the beam so I don't have to if, you're, if it's on an open wall, you definitely want to have a level and make sure your bracket's level, but I'm just using the beam and that should be perfect. And there you guys can see brackets in with two screws, not going anywhere. All right, so obviously we want to make sure that the wire is long enough, so we're going to do it the old fashioned way. Old fashioned way. <laughs> yep, that'll work. I'm quickly going to show you guys how easy it is to connect these speakers. So you got your power source, which you got your primary speaker and a secondary speaker. So your primary speaker, you'll have this little rubber grommet that you open up and your primary source just connects right in there. And then for the speaker cables, uh, it's pretty self-explanatory. Red goes to red and black goes to black. There is a little hole, so you just put it in the hole and then you screw this down. 
and then black the same way in the hole and you screw it down. And then the rest of the speaker cable connects to your other speaker. However, the cord they gave you or the speaker cable they gave you is only 16 foot long and that's how far apart you can put your speakers. They recommend to have it eight foot apart and then just above eye level. All right, so we're gonna do some wiring. Yeah, so before I mount it, I'm gonna put these wires in because it'll be a lot easier to do it out here than to do it while it's in a bracket and there's zero space for my hand to move. So I have a question. While you're screwing those on, um, if the wire's too long, are you able to just cut these wires? Yes, yeah, you can just cut them to according to your length and uh, just clean it out. Yeah, no problem. And then if the wire is too short, I would recommend to go buy a specific speaker wire that is long enough for your application. Not to extend this one, because you don't want to have connections or as little connections as possible when it comes to speakers. Okay, so we got our primary speaker uh, ready. So that's the one that plugs into the power source. I got my mounting screws that goes onto the bracket. Speaker wires already connected and I'm just gonna mount it up there. So I'm going to plug in my power source. Now he's just putting the brackets on. Super easy. Two sides. So we're going to have it on this side. Right. This wire is a little bit long for our application, so we're just going to cut it a little bit shorter. So we have a cleaner finish and not like excess wiring. Just give it a couple of turns, tighten it up. It should be Gucci. 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 So now I'm gonna mount the speaker and get this connected. I just can't get over how easy this is. It's super easy. It's literally a, a plug and play. Um, you connect two wires, plug in two plugs and <laughs> you're done. <laughs> a little bit of mounting and Gucci. Yeah, super easy. It's literally, I mean, you could have done it. What are you trying to say? <laughs> it's that easy. Is the sun super bright in your face? Yeah, it's reflecting off the water. It's pretty bright. Right, just like our future. Oh yeah. And I'm just using a staple gun to just tighten up these uh, wires. All right, we're gonna try it out. Let's see if it works. Bluetooth mode. Is it pretty easy to go onto your phone? Uh, let's see, I connected to it. Connected. Yes. Yes. So we're quickly gonna go onto our Samba style videos on YouTube to see how the speaker works. And we should be ready to start painting. Now we're putting on the paint. And Woo! I guess. <laughs> Thanks, son. Can I have That's some party here? <laughs> Get it. <laughs> okay, y'all. I am so impressed.
impressed with these speakers. As you just saw, we were over 50 feet away and you could still hear that sound quality perfectly. Yeah, it's amazing. We, we're literally blown away by the sound quality of these speakers. They are phenomenal. So good. And just a little recap, these speakers are indoor, outdoor, waterproof. Um, they come with all the things that you need other than the hardware, but it was such an easy install. It's, it's super a, easy. I mean, yeah, it's like literally it was 30 minutes all in from cutting the first box open yes. to finishing the last connection. It was super easy. It's literally a plug and play, Absolutely. very easy to install. Okay, so where did we get these speakers? Yeah, so Studio Phoenix is the name brand of these speakers and we are obsessed. Go into our um, description below, you'll have our affiliate link and make sure to put in Samber Style for 10% off. They have tons of different models. This is a model that we got, oh. <laughs> <laughs> but they're, they're great and they were super, super quick to get. I think it took maybe three yeah. days to all in to get delivered. 30 minutes to install, so it is it is it's a game super changer. Super easy, and the ones we got is right under $200, so it's a great entry-level speaker for any application. Yeah, indoor, outdoor, I mean, all the things that you need, make sure to, again, check out Studio Phoenix, link below, Samber Style, 10% off. Thank you guys for joining us for this episode. Make sure to catch our other episodes on the whole build of this outdoor kitchen on Samber Style. Until next time, goodbye. Peace. <laughs> Hello guys. Oh, I was I was fixing my hair. Sorry. We have to have some kick. Ass. Can we say? Ass? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> we might have to beep that out. Uh, speakers. Oh, I should probably redo it. But that was so good. Yeah. So if you put it on the wrong beam, simply take it off. And redo it. And redo it. Well, I probably don't have to yell because I have a mic on. Mm -hmm. okay. Should we do it again? Yeah. 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 Cue video content now. Oh wait, no. Sorry. I meant to say. Q before and after now. Wait, should we start over? I felt, yeah, I felt like I wanted to say too many things and it got like all... All jumbled. All jumbled, yeah. Let's start completely over. Okay.